Hello again, welcome back. This is my final German beer from... I think I had two cases of German beers. I'm trying to remember if I got this in one of my subscription boxes or one of my German boxes. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. So this is a, a beer called Jever Pilsner. It's from... Germany, a Friesland or Northern Germany, I think. And the brewery is, is I think it's just called Jever. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have, have done my research first day. So it's a, I don't know, a Friesish Brauhaus. So that's Friesland, I think. Uh, or is that in the Netherlands? No, that's Germany. Pilsner. Jever Pilsner. Crisp bitterness, hoppy flavour, dry finish. It's a 330ml can. Uh, ABV is 4.9%. Ingredients, water, barley, malt, hops. And yeast, I would imagine, as well. It doesn't have that, but... So, imported premium beer from Germany. Let's crack it open. See what it's like. Pale, I would think. Oh yeah, very pale. It's very straw coloured on the floor, very light. It looks really nice. Give it a wee bit of head. <laughs> the, the beer. Nice can. Simple. Let's have a wee look at the colour. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's crystal clear. It's pale straw. straw. There's about a finger of... Quite mousse like foam. I don't think that's going to last very long. Let's have a wee look. Release some aromas. There's a lot of carbonation there. There's not a great deal of visual carbonation, but there's a lot of carbonation locked up in the beer. It's quite yeasty. Yeasty and hoppy. Which is... You would expect malt to be predominant, but it's not. There is a malty presence, obviously. That's like a hoppy yeastiness, if that makes any sense. It's a pleasant enough smell. Cheers, my dears. Oh yeah, you do get that malt sweetness at the front there. I was expecting a wee bit more bitterness, but there, there is a wee tinge on the, the back of the tongue there. And there is a slight hoppiness. But it's quite a, it's a very nice beer, that. I, I never knew what to expect. Let's have a wee look, uh, if we can break it down. Excuse me. I'm slavering. Nothing new there. This is the, cra the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. We'll do the light test. So the standard light test, the light from the back. I've been trying the light from the side, but I don't think that's very effective, though. Maybe if I move it around a bit, it'll give a wee an all-round impression of it. It's worth trying new things. Try something different as Beers for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks says. Drew. 
So, we'll start with the colour, and it is, according to this, a, probably a three, between a two and a three. The clarity is brilliantly clear, colour of foam, head retention, it's moderate, there's that lacing now, eh, the foam texture's thin, the visual carbonation, there is the odd bubble here and there, but not a great deal, slow. Aroma, alcohol, not detectable. The hops. It's a sort of a, I don't know, herbal? Maybe a slightly floral. Uh, the malt. Aroma. I'm going to say grainy. Uh, esters. Forget that. Flavour and aftertaste. Alcohol, not detectable. What did I say this was? 5%? No, 4.9%. Yeah. The hop flavour. You know, there's a, there is a slight fruitiness there. And a slight bit of resin bit. That bitterness. Like a pith. No grapefruit, more like a lemon pith. The hot bitterness is restrained to moderate. There is that, that bitterness there. The malt flavour is, you know, it's. You know, on my first taste, that's what I got. was the slight malt sweetness. And now, my palate, it's just a, it's bitterness on the palate. And that's lingering. So it's now affecting subsequent sips. So that, that bitterness is sort of killing any other flavours, I mean, if that makes sense. Malt, I, I can't detect any malt flavour there at all now. I mean, at first I did, I got that, like, breadiness, but now. So malt sweetness is low. The palate astringency, I've got to say, is medium. The body's very drying. Palate carbonation is medium. The length, it's long, because it's lasting. That bitterness is, that's, that's what you're left with. And it's hanging around. And it's spoiling the rest of the drink. So a tip, if you're going to drink this beer, just have one mouthful. There you go. Balance and drinkability is desirable or undesirable. I'll say desirable. The style appropriate, yeah, it's a Pilsner. Not my go-to drink. Uh, we'll go on to Untapped. Let's have a wee look. To see, there it is. So it's Yever Pilsner, it's called, and the, the brewery is Freisisch Brauhaus zu Yever. So Freisisch Free something brewery of Yever. Yever's a town in Niedersachsen. Excuse my pronunciation. So ABV 4.9%, 40 IBU, it seems a bit higher than that, but uh, zero friends check-ins, everyone else is 84,000 with an average of 3.14. Style guide Pilsner German. A northern German, Frisian, so it was Frisian. So that's what the... Pilsner that is characteristic of the style. It's a little more hoppy than Czech Pilsners, giving it a more bitter herb in German flavour. Descriptors are hoppy, light, dry, clean, smooth. Yeah, I'll go along with that. For me, it is... It's not a go-to style, but I'm just judging it on its own merits. 
It's slightly too bitter for me for... I want some sweetness, some malt sweetness in a, a pills. Well, it's just, I know it's not like a Hellas style lager or a Czech pills, but there is that slight bitterness. That's, I suppose that's the style, isn't it? I'm going to give it, I'll give it 6.5. A generous 6.5 out of 10. You can't ask where I'm now. Would I drink it again? Probably not. If I seen it, I would pick up the can next to it. I mean, it's okay, but not my not my style at all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Not a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, it's so. a...